show you how to fully install the mod Complete Crafting Overhaul by Christopher or CCO for short. For this purpose, we need to check first the requirements. So, we need the mod, weapons, and armor fixes made. Just the main file. And the mod, clothing and clutter fixes. For this one, we need the main file and whichever the texture resolution you prefer. Personally, I use the 2K, 1K textures. So, just take in mind that the only known issues you're going to have with this mod are the mods that change the game's existing recipes. In most cases, as the author suggests, you need to load CCO after those mods. Except for the mod realistic needs and diseases, which needs to be loaded after CCO. Now, the only approved compatibility patches that exist are for the mods Skyrim Immersive Creatures which can be found at the download section of that mod page. Skyrim Redone and Requiem can be found at the links provided. Or at least, that's what the author said. The next thing you need to know are the mods which already has CCO support integrated which are the mods A Medium Born, Book of Silence, Campfire, Clothing Craft, Frostfall, Immersive Armors, Immersive Jewelry and Wet and Cold. So these mods can be installed safety by themselves. I personally only use the A Medium Born, Book of Silence and Wet and Cold. I also want to use Frostfall but that's another story. Now, the interesting part of the present video is the incorporated mod options, which are the mods partially integrated into a complete crafting overhaul plugin. If you want to read the guide provided, you can find it by clicking on one of the titles of these mods. But the purpose of this video is to simplify that guide, so whatever you need is here. Just remember, I'm going to show you how to install those and how to fix them in-game. So, back at the mod CCO and after you fulfill the requirements I told you before, the next unit is the main file and the non-optional patch for weapons and armor fixes to main. So, the next mod is Bandolier's Bags and Pouches. With this one, you need the main file v1.2 and the not really optional file Bandolier's Guide to Mail Air Body version 1. Don't worry, it only contains some measures. So, the next one is Bandolier's Dungar. And for this one, there's only one file. Now, the next one is the VIP mod, so please pay attention to this one. Bandolier's Bags and Pouches Patch. For this one, you need the Bags and Pouches Patch main file and the Dungar file. Don't worry, this one is not going to add any ESP because this one replaces the original one as I show you here. Or 
right? Just remember please, bandoliers, bags and pouches, package. The third file is optional, but I'm gonna talk about it on the next video. The next one is Clubs of Skyrim. For this one, you only need the main file, and the Dungard optional file. Next one is up to you if you want to download it or not, but I recommend it. And this is Nerevar's Globes of the Skyrim Ultra HD V2. This is just a retexture of the mod Globes of the Skyrim, but it's really good. For this one, there's only one file, and the textures are 2K. The next is optional, and it is Illustrious HDD Clubs of the Skyrim. I tried my best to help the mod author here, and I helped him finding a problem with some not well addressed textures. This mod, as it is, is fantastic, and as the name suggests, adds physics to the Clubs of the Skyrim. This one has two different main files. But if you're following this video, you need the C-Core version. Also, there's a patch for Requiem if you have that mod installed. And finally, you need to install the hotfix, which I'm pretty happy to see my nickname listed here. The next mod is Jesus Swords. For this one, you're going to need the main file v13c and the update to v13d. Also, there are a lot of optional files, but because those add multiple plugins, you don't need them. Many of them are just translation, so you really don't need them. Anyway. Also, I recommend you to check out the Jesus Mod Author page. He has a lot of interesting mods for women. The next mod is also optional for low NPCs, and it is Jesus Swords Low Resolution Textures. It only has one file and requires the B13D version of the original JSON Sword mod. The next mod is Jewelcraft, and I recommend you to download it just to be able to endorse it, because you really don't need to install this one. So, for the installation, let me show you that I have downloaded every single archive. Also, I recommend you to keep your downloads as clean as I do. This tutorial is for Mod Organizer. It's useful for Mod Organizer 2 as well. I do not use any other. Now, the first requirement is Weapons and Armor Fixers from 8. This one has a FOMOD. mod. You need to select the Skyrim Legendary Edition if you have all the DLCs and the Customize option to personalize your installation. Here, I personally use only the True or Siege weapons, but if you want, you can use the Daedric weapon changes as well. I recommend you the Dragon Priest Mask option and you must select the Dark Brotherhood Mask Fix and the Better Fitting Glass Helmet Meshes. I personally use the 2K 1K textures for better performance, but you can select any better quality textures you want. Because I only use the Improved Close Face Helmet mod 
I need that patch selected. There's also a patch for immersive weapons and for a medium born Skyfork weapons standalone version. Click install and because I already had that mod installed, I need to click replace here. With all of this done, you're going to end with the next plugins and with the Imhelm Legend ESP, which replaces the plugin from the original mod if you have that one installed. Now, I recommend you to search the original Improved Helmets mod to put the plugin into the optional plugins to avoid any load order issues. You still need the original mod activated for the meshes. Now, to check that your plugins are safe to merge, just deactivate one by one and check if there are any issues. In my case, I have the mod Audio Overhaul for Skyrim 2 and the mod Immersive Sounds Compendium, which once had a patch for weapons and armor fixes from it, and have that plugin as a master. To solve this problem, I'm going to search those mods and redo the merges that I have. But for the present tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to merge the plugins from Weapons and Armor Fixer from 8 and those extra patches. To do this, it's recommended to search for the conflicted mod folders and copy the patches from those mods to the Weapons and Armor Fixes folder. To get this easy, just search the mod at the mod organizer and right click the mod and select Open in Explorer. As you can see here, the Immersive Sound Compendium patch didn't list the Weapons and Armor Fixes plugin as a master. So the next is maybe optional, sometimes it's better to leave the things as they are, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add them a master plugin. So, first you need to set X-Edit without the Quick Auto Clean option. To check that out, just click on the Modify Executables option, highlight X-Edit, and at the Arguments option, look that it's empty. Click on Modify. Close the window. Open X Edit. At the first window, right click on any plugin and select None. Pick the ISC Wafer Patch plugin and the Weapons and Armor Fixer from it plugin, which is the master we want to add. Okay, 
let it love the plugins. Right click on the patch and select Add Master. Click the weapons and armor fixes remain plugin. Select OK and select Yes on the next part. Close X Edit and tick the plugin and select OK. Back at the mod organizer, at the override folder may appear an X Edit cache which is saved to delete it. In my case, I have the patch for improved closed face helmet for the mod Connery's accoutrement. And because I'm using it in an exclusive playthrough, I'm not going to merge this listed in Hellmaster. So, notice that I move manually the patches at the bottom and that I haven't looted them so they keep together. I'm going to highlight the plugins that I'm going to merge. Open Merge Plugins. Select Skyrim and right click on any plugin and select Check All. Now just tick the plugins that we are going to merge. masters which must be indicated in red. Select OK and let it load. The more plugins you select, the more time you need to wait. I have already committed the mistake of getting the Imhelm plugin merge. I already had erased this merge from Mod Organizer, so I'm safe to erase this merge here too. Now I'm going to select everything and this time I'm going to keep the masters out, because I think it's better to keep them out of the merge. Open the options and if you're following me, select integrations and tick the copy general assets. Select OK. Wait until the background has loaded. From here, you need to select the plugins you want to merge. Just follow me here. Select at least the same six plugins as I do and right click and select Add to Merge and New Merge. The name option is the name which is going to appear on the left panel of your mod organizer and the file name is the name of the plugin. I recommend you to name them similarly. Go to the Merges tab. Right click on the newly added Merge and select Plugins and check Plugins for error. All done. Click on close and if you're following me, there must not be any errors and the merge must be colored green. Right click on it and select build merge. Let it finish and close everything. Now. Right click on any space blank on the left panel of Mod Organizer and select Refresh. The same option appears if you right click on any mod and select All Mods. 
Your new merch must appear at the bottom of your mod list. Check the filter though. You can check everything is right at the file tree. And because I have ticket the option copy general assets and I have all the files needed copied at the same folder which contains the plugins planet to be mer, I ended up with all the files needed here at my new merge including meshes, textures and scripts. Most times when this didn't happen to me I just copy them manually and that works too. The only plugin left at the weapons and armor fixes folder that you need to copy manually is the imhelm legend esp. This allows me to untick the merged mods on the left panel of Mod Organizer instead of putting the original plugins on an optional folder. Just believe me. Remember that you need to loot everything at the end of this video. The last requirement is the mod clothing and clutter fixes remade. First, install the main file, change the name if you want and copy it if you want to install everything on the same folder. Also, you really don't need the docs folder. The next thing you need to do is install the patches that you personally need. In my case, I need the patch for RS Children and the Digitigrade Beast Races patches. I recommend you to select manual on every mod that has not a FOM mod during the installation process. Right click on the folder and select set data directory if it's not well addressed and select merge, not replace. I don't have any proof that these patches harm my game, so I keep using them because the mod author at the moment that I was recording this video hasn't explained why he put them on the old files. I keep using them, but if you are afraid of, you are free, don't install them, in case you don't feel right with them. In my case, I only use the Digitigrade mod only with one of my playthroughs. So I'm gonna install this one on a different folder. It only contains one plugin. So, the last thing you need to do is to install the textures file, whichever you want, and that's it for the requirements. Then we start. Finally, with the complete crafting overhaul remain mod. This 
This is one address. You don't need the DXT file though. Remember to copy the name of the mod to install the patch on the same folder which contains only one plugin. Next, we are going to install the Bandolier Spot. For this one, install the main file first. Select manual and click only the meshes and textures. Type to mail bare body optional, you must install it separately because you only need this one to fit better the packs only in your finished character or in your female ones. The next is Bandoliers Dunguard Edition, which can be installed with the same name of the Bandoliers mod because they are from the same alpha. At least I leave them together. For this one you only need the textures and meshes. Next one is Bandoliers Bugs and Pouches Patch. Install the main file. If you are following this tutorial, you need to deactivate the Dr. Bandoliers ESP. Also, because this last plugin install replaces the same one from the mod complete crafting overhaul remain, I recommend you to send the original one to the optional plugins or delete it. Assure nothing overrides the bandoliers tied to mail per body mod. Now install the downcar patch. This one only contains meshes. You can combine the archives from both mods if you want. I just recommend you to write the IPs of the mods that you are combining.
and with that you can erase the empty mod. The next mod is Clocks of Skyrim. Install the main file and remember, select manual. From this one, you need just the textures and meshes. Then install the Clocks of Skyrim Dungard. For this one, you only need the textures and meshes as well. The next one is Nerebar's Clocks of Skyrim. This one requires more attention after the installation. Just follow me. Here, we need to double click on the mod, go to the file tree and open the path, textures, cloaks, cloaks of Skyrim and search the file sagecloak underscore n dot dds. Right click on it and select hide. Here you can see what this does in game. So, the next mod is Illustrious HDD Clocks of Skyrim. Install the main file first. 
You need everything sick. If you get the same error that appears to me when I ticket the mod, you must deactivate it and reactivate it for this to work properly. And then install the hotfix and select merge, not replace. The next mod is JSON Swords. For this one, install the p13c main file, click manual and untick the txt file and the esm file. Next, you need to install the P13C to P13D update. From this one, you only need the textures and meshes. Ever remember to check all of your Nexus IDs, just to keep the mod track. The next mod is optional, and it is Jesus Swords Low Resolution. This one downgrades some of the very HD textures from some of the swords of the original mod, just to keep some performance. Before every new playthrough, check the archive tab and tick all your VSAs. Sometimes, if you don't have any related plugin, they tend to be deactivated only in Mod Organizer 1. The next mod is Jewelcraft. It doesn't need to be installed because it's fully integrated with the mod Complete Crafting Overhaul. The next mod is Winter is Coming. There's only one file and it is a FOM mod. Believe me, you don't want to install this one manually. At the format, at the main modules, just keep the main plugin tick and nothing else. Select next and install. You need to open the mod in order to delete the plugins installed by the format and the txt file if you want. Take in mind that the data needed from those mods is fully integrated in the Complete Crafting Overhaul plugin, so that's why you don't need those plugins.
activate the mod and check the Nexus IDs. So, we're almost finished. Leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and click on that notification bell icon. I plan to upload more videos soon. I personally don't activate the alternate experience formula because I have my own settings for the mod Skyrim community on Copper. Maybe sometime I'm going to upload my own settings just to share it with you. At the mining materials in the firewood option, the max per activation indicates the total woods you're going to get at the end of one activation. So I keep it on 20. And at the mining option, the animation cycles per drop indicates the times of a cycle that is going to smash a mine. The attack strikes per drop indicates the number of attacks that you need to do manually on the mine just to get a drop. The ores per drop indicate the number of ores you're going to get for every drop of the mine. At the enable mod setting, you need to enable everything, except if you don't have installed any of this one. This didn't apply to the Jewelcraft mod for obvious reasons. The options at the right pane indicate which mods are going to be distributed automatically in the world. So, in my case, I want the Jesus Source and Winter is Coming deactivated, just to keep them exclusive for my player character. 
at the mod option settings, I personally only change the bonus for the Book of Silence just because 5% looks like nothing, at least for me. For the bandoliers, bags and pouches, here you'd select which is the bonus for carry weight for every item. So, the small enchantment which corresponds to the small bags, I prefer to keep it in 30 carry weight. And for the next one, I prefer to keep it at 50% and 80% and 100% for the biggest one. At the crafting location, you can change if you want to craft those items in the tanning rack or at the forge. You can set the distribution chance that you are going to get on the NPCs. As well as the clothes distribution, you can change the chance that the bandits, forsworn, guards, hunters, imperials, etc. cast some clothes in their inventories when you kill them or loot them. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Even if they are not, you can just pick them up. You need to don't click uninstall. Please, never click on that option. If you do that, you're going to need to repeat my whole tutorial. So please, keep that option alone. I didn't show you how to install the wet and cold mod, but it adds some level at least items, so that's something that you need to take in mind. For example, I personally only activate the googles and backpacks. Those are the only items that I want to appear on the shops. At the Clothing and Clutter Fixes MCM, I personally deactivate the Charles and Stewart. Here's the reason why. And here is why I personally don't like that option activated. Because look at this elven armor. Well, that's my opinion of course, but you can do whatever you want with your own game, of course. For me, she looks better in her leather armor. The jar is another story I really love with that option activated. I personally keep that one deactivated. Don't get mad, please. It's just my opinion. If you are wondering why you need the Pandoliers Bugs and Pouches patch mod, here is the reason.
So that's the end of today's video. Leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Believe me, it's worth it.